one lead. And our final singles match, Lishwari against Ruseli Hartawan. And they'll be on court very shortly for the finale to this uh, extremely entertaining group match, the last group match in Group D. Remember, the knockout round start tomorrow. Here come the players. Officials already waiting for them on court. And even though it's effectively a, a dead match in terms of the tie, there's uh, personal pride at stake here. Black or red? One love Black. to uh, the red. Chinese okay. woman. They've just met the once in Indonesia a couple Black. of years ago. It took three Sir. games to sort Sir. it out. So, Li Shwari, five foot eight. She's ranked 234, but I mean, that's a bit of a misnomer. She was uh, number one for three years running and then got injured, of course, in the 2016 Olympics. Went back on the single circuit after pretty much two years out. She won the uh, Ling Shu China Masters. That was her first in two years. Easy victory against uh, Katia Norma of France. Not selected for the match against Malaysia. And Rousselli hard to honor her opponent, whose uh, highest ranking is 49. She might have a work cut out this afternoon. That was three years ago. She was up inside the world top 50. Although she did win both the Singapore and the Indonesian international events last year. And uh, she's come through against uh, Katia Norman very easily and then had a battle with Kisona, which she lost in just over an hour. Daniel Law from Hong Kong is our chair umpire. Fine Datan of India is our service judge. On board four, you will cut group D between Malaysia and France. Third singles, Malaysia, represented by Jison Sewadule. France, represented by Katia Normo. Ready to play. Up high. Joao Fragoso from Portugal. Service Judge, Jigirat Hanua Prakat from Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, China, represented by Li Shui Rei. And on my left, Indonesia, represented by Roseli Hadawan. China to serve. Level play. So this final singles match. So it's over. One love. Hard one will come in as a, an outsider, obviously bearing in mind the pedigree of her opponent. Just inside the back line. So it's over. One off. Interesting, all the matches today have been won in straight games, but there hasn't been what you would call a, a facile victory amongst them. So it's 
over. Well, that was a statement one. of intent from part of one there. Really hit that well. It's just great to see Anishwari back on court after that a horrible injury layoff she had. Well, it's great defence from uh, Hartwell while it lasted, but in the end, uh, Lishwari just knew a bit too much for her. And when you play someone of Lishwari's ability, then can get away from you very quick. Mm. That was beautifully placed, really was. Over four, three. Nishwari looking very confident in the early stages here. That was good play, though, from uh, Hartawan. Reacted very quickly. And, uh, the Chinese over. completely out of position at, at the net could do nothing with that. Four or. Don't see this Four. being a, a match of particularly long rallies. It's very canny. I don't think it's going to be one of those kind of encounters. We'll see. Certainly there's no sign of that so far. A little bit careless oh. from the former world number one. Well, it was the right shot. Just the wrong execution. Eight, six. On the line, I think. Serves over. And no one more surprised than seven nine. Wish very that it was. <laughs> Immediate challenge for the Chinese. Right. That was called out. Call out. Certainly think this is worth having a look because it appeared close. Very close. Hey. 
I need to get to the opticians, don't I? Successful. One challenge remaining. We're near. Eight, eight, nine. Play. Nice little touch. Nine off. Oh, coming on with a bit of a a run here. How to one? Ten, nine. It's a real it's statement over. of intent that. Ten, off. No jump really. Just stand and deliver. So she has the slight edge 11, as they go for the interval, interval after just seven minutes of play. An 11 10 China lead. Eleven ten play. We sell you how one challenges for in. Attention, please do not use flash when taking photos. Please do not use flash when taking photos. Thank you. Call Pam Kuna and go check the lockdown. Call Pam Kuna and go check the lockdown. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 12 10. Play. So it's over. 11 12. Over 13 11. Over twelve thirteen. Well, apologies for the break in commentary. We've had a couple of technical issues, which hopefully so we have now solved. Fourteen twelve. 14-12. Ishwari leads Russeli Hartuan in this first game of the final match in this tie. China with an unassailable 3-1 lead. And looking good now in, uh, in this match as well. 15-12. So 
Hard to one's played a full part though. 15. She's still in there fighting. Oh, that is vintage. Lucheri there. Over. 16. Absolutely stunning over here. Desperate that from uh, Hart to one. Very, very difficult shot to play. He tried to finish the point with a clean winner. Yeah, well played. So it's over. 18, 14. Just starting to really assert herself. Thank you. Just three points away now from securing the opening game here. And she's got Hartowen sprawling all over the court at the moment. And that's what the Chinese 19, will do to you, get you running around 14. everywhere can be an energy sapping experience to say the least. Thank you. Play. She really is being run racket, <laughs> hard to one. And it's six game points now for Lee. Be careful, that could be nasty. Chinese Taipei and Japan. Just missed it. It was a so nearly a wonderful angle she created. 15, 20. And that will do it. Okay. In exactly quarter of an First hour 21-15 Lee leads and China looking to complete a 4-1 victory here in this final group match
Fourth one, second doubles, Chinese Taipei, represented by Wang Yuli and Yang Bohan. Japan, represented by Hiro Yuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe. Up high, Joel Leong Yulba from Hong Kong, China. So Mixing it up between drop shots and smashes. Such a clever player. Mainly to the backhand as well as you can see. It's given Hata one serious problems in that first game. Cock two, 20 seconds. Cock two, 20 seconds. Second game, level play. So underway again. Straight away a challenge, no call, so that clever angle from Lee clipped the line as far as the judge was concerned, but what does Hawkeye say? It's great to see players smiling even when they're behind in a match. Did it clip the line? Yes, it did. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. One last play. Oh, complete miscue. You don't see those too often. So it's over. Got that totally wrong. One all. She was through the shot pretty much before the shuttle arrived. Set up for a very easy kill. Two, one. Hasn't started this second game in the Over. same determined fashion that she Four, finished the first. Two. Be careful with a player like Hartwell. Give her a bit of momentum. Ah! She can be very dangerous. I'm not surprised she's challenging because that looked that looked into me. It's called out. Oh, millimeters. Challenge unsuccessful. The call was correct. No challenges remaining. So she's used up both the challenges in this uh, game very early. Four. Play. Well reacted. And you now there's a challenge, challenge from Lee. <laughs> it's a challenge of point at the moment. This might be more hopeful than anything else from the Chinese. Did it? Oh! 
Wow. <laughs> you can... One challenge remaining. That's when you realise how tough a job the line five, judges have. Three. Play. That's over. Way over Four, here, that's a... Five. Long as well. Five or that a complete misjudgment by Lee. Just looked at a fraction laboured getting to that. The Chinese. Seven, five. This is a good little run of points for Hartawan, giving a Chance to exert some pressure, maybe for just about the first time in the match on the former world number one. Oh. That was the wrong side of the sideline. So and she has no challenges left, remember, so she can't challenge even if she wanted to. Eight. Clearly out. Oh, oh yes. What a stunner of a backhand over. from the Indonesian. Nine, six. He's uh, starting to open up a little bit of a lead here. That's wasteful though. Seven. Missed it, and there's an 11 7 lead for Hartuan as they go to the interval. So can 
Harter one, keep her nerve here and take us into a deciding game. That'll help her cause. 12-7. It's dropped in. It's going to be Keep challenged, though. So neither woman now has any challenges left. And Harter one with 13, a nice seven. cushion here. Play. One four three. Thomas Patrick Z. Between Hong Kong China and Germany. So far, 13 goals. Eight, Hong Kong China. 13. Represented by Li Hugyu. Germany, represented by Mark Weber. Well, that was hit with real venom. So, no wonder the coach liked it. Eric from Denmark. So it's Dutch. Chris Dilton, I think, from Malaysia. สนามที่สามประเทศทีมชายกลุ่มสี่ระหว่างประเทศฮ่องกงและประเทศเยอรมันชายเดียวคือสามประเทศฮ่องกงก็แทนคือลีชุกยู just wide. With a little help from the net. <laughs> well, she put everything into that heart of man. Of course, she couldn't react when it came back to the uh, unguarded part of the court. She's down again. Spent as much time on the surface of the court as she has standing up on it this 11, afternoon. 15. Thank you. Oh, how beautiful. It was an awkward backhand over her shoulder that uh, Lee had to play. She couldn't get quite 16, the depth she wanted with 11. it, but it still needed putting away. That's why they don't like that shot, because they have to turn their field of vision away from the court. Even so, terrific shot, half a one. Over 
trying to get back in range in this second game. 13, That's a good drop shot. She couldn't really do much other than just flick it up, and from that mid-court position, only one place that was going. Wow! Have some of that. Not enough depth on that high serve. Played from 13. well inside the back line. <laughs> Another miscue. 18, 13. She's found a, a top shot there, though. Not seen enough of those in this game 14, from Lee. He still looks very much like we're going to a decider. 14 again from Lee. Over. 1914. Well, it may Over. not matter, but it's Frustrating for her just to chuck a point away like that. She's not over the line yet in the second game. Play. Oh, yes, yeah, set the top draw that one. Trouble as soon as Harto on second guess the serve, and now four game points to force a decider. <laughs> she could see it there. You could imagine going off for the two minute break and getting ready for a a decider and really snatched at it and straight away knew that she'd made the error. Can she get across the line? Nervous moments these. Still two game points. That was a little wild, more than a little. Maybe this time. And there it is. 21-19.
and she keeps the match alive. Game won by Indonesia. 21, and we're going to be One in for what should be an absolutely fascinating decider here. Caught two, 20 seconds. Caught two, 20 seconds. So here we go for the deciding game in this match. Will Final be the last game. game with a tie. Level play. And Hartleman ranked 77 in the world against the former world number one. But Lee went so right off the board in that second game and uh, got what she deserved pretty much. Hartleman won, needed a few game points to confirm it, but it did in the end. Two love. So some net court. It's a miss cue, I think. <laughs> Nicely done. So it's over. One, two. Missed quite a few of those kind of Two shots today. Off. She would admit, win, lose or draw here, that she's not been at her best. Two all. A little bit casual, that backhand. Three, two. a better overhead that forced the error from uh, Hartleman. Four, two. Remember both women get uh, two challenges back in each game, so full compliment after they both used theirs pretty early in game two. So it's over. Might be a little bit of tiredness creeping in, mental Three, tiredness. Four. It's only been on court for mm, a fair while, maybe 40 minutes or so. Once again, great judgment from Harto on lovely touch. Five, three.
Oh, yes. She was about to rush in there, Lee, and uh, Hartleman saw that. Six, three. And a clever shot. Very deliberate. On the line, and just inside it, yeah. She's played that shot pretty well for the most part today. The coach knows she's potentially about to pull off one of the great wins of her career so far. Little unfortunate for Lee there. Serves over. Eight, five. In contact with the uh, with the net, as you can see. Eight five. A nice little run of points for the Indonesian. Still looks pretty composed, and so she should. It's the uh, most competitive match of the tie, the only one that's gone to a deciding game. And at the moment, Harter One's in charge of it. Hoping this will now be the final point before the interval. Terrific shot, and she does indeed lead 11 7 as they go to the chair. Tapi mau 
sudah ada terkenal tapi jangan disemuain ya kalau ada sunat kapal sunat sudah tambah pun juga ya siap terus terus back on court So, can she hold her nerve, Hartuan? Pull off one of the big wins of her career so far. We'll see in the next uh, quarter of an hour or so, or so as that goes wide. 12-7. Lee is uh, seven years Hartuan senior, so much more experience. Yes. 13-7. Well, she's clearly got the momentum. Lee knew as soon as she hit that was a nothing kind of shot really. Didn't have to move. The Indonesian to put that away. Over eight thirteen. Once again, Hartawan had to make that a winner, otherwise 13. she was completely out of position. That looked good. It was good. So it's over. 14, 9. Yeah, terrific return. So it's over. 10, 14. Maybe just 11, tensing up a little 14. bit. Sally how to want. And that's dropped long as well. 12, 14. Then a point now. 13, 14. Missed it. And we are all square here. 14 all. You've got to think the psychological edge is with uh, the Chinese having come from behind, significantly behind. Part 4, Yuga Cup Group D, Malaysia v France, 5-0. All of a sudden, Lee looks the more composed of the two. And there's another winner. 
When you see a play like this, when you compare it to that little period in the second game, this looks like a completely different player. Well, she's challenging it. I have to say, I thought that was in. And she was very close to it, Lee. I sometimes wonder if these challenges just to make kind of a bit embarrassed when they leave uh, a shuttle like that. Yeah, it's a club on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge. Remaining. So over fifteen, sixteen. Oh, it's dropped in. And Lee can't believe it. 16 on. What's your face here? Play. <laughs> Who did that? Well, your opponent did. And that's out. And it's a really topsy-turvy final game 17. here. Now Harter wants in front by a point. <laughs> well, another challenge again. Out. I'm not sure she's going to get much joy with this. And this will be the second challenge and final challenge in this game. Because it did look like it was wide, as called. Yeah. So rather a waste of a challenge. No challenges remaining. And she finds herself 18-16 down. 18-16. Can Harto one hold a nerve? Play. That was a tired looking forehand. And the Indonesian a couple of points away. 19, Remember how tough it was for her to get over the line in the second game. Now then, can she convert four match points? 20, match point 16. Showed great composure in that rally. In the end, the error came from the Chinese. Well, saved the first in very Over. assertive fashion. 17, 20. Message to 
Hard to on is you're going to have to win this. I'm not going to give it to you. Still three match points. <laughs> Wonder if she considered leaving that. It might have been drifting wide. 18, 20. Lee still in there fighting. That's it. It's one of the best wins of her career against the former world number one. And all that after having dropped the opening game as well but she comes through 21 18 Match won by in 57 minutes 15, 21, and it's a 21, it won't help save the uh, tie obviously 18. but for Russeli Hartovan it's going to be a very memorable day you see the little skip and she landed that match point and she's going to be a big player for Indonesia in the quarterfinals and possibly beyond from behind as well. Very sporting in defeat, Lee. It's great to watch, lasted around about an hour. And we'll see both of them again in the knockout stage. Just confirm, of course, China win the group because they've won this tie by three matches to two. Just to reiterate what we've seen today, if you've been with us, uh, Chen Yufei with a pretty straightforward victory over Vitriani. Um, the doubles was two tight sets before uh, Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan came through. But then we saw a tremendous performance from Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, big outsider against uh, Gao Fengjie, but winning in straight games. The doubles uh, went to form, really. Uh, Harrison Predictor just couldn't compete with the likes of uh, Ya Chong and Junhua and as we've just seen a fantastic win for Russeli Hartawan against the former world number one Lee Shuavi. Just to confirm then what is coming up for you for the rest of the day here on court two. Confirmation that China have beaten Indonesia 3-2. Uh, next up in about uh, 35 minutes uh, we turn our attention to the men. Thomas Cup, Indonesia versus Korea. And then we're back to the women tonight at 7 for Thailand against Chinese Taipei in the Uber Cup. For now, though, from me, Trevor Harris, and all of us here, it's goodbye.